Earth signs. What's good, guys? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for watching Mama Faya Tarot. I got a whole mess of frankincense on the burn, and I am ready to get into it for my beautiful earth signs. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you, thank you. If this is your first time coming to this channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if I entertain you for more than five minutes, please hit like. Uh, it really helps the video circulate. So this is going to be for all three fire signs. Uh, fire signs. Jesus, why do I say that? Uh, earth signs. All three earth signs. Um, it's going to be for sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, um, and Jupiter. Um, so I'm going to start with oracles. Then I'll, for the whole earth sign collective, then I'll get into cards for Capricorn, cards for Virgo, cards for Taurus. Then I'll get back into Oracle for the collective, do some crystal cards, some Lenormand, and some other fun stuff. All right, so let's get into it. Um, if you would like a personal reading, that info is in the description box below. We can hook up on Zoom through Everybody in Mind Wellness Center, or we can um, hook up on Wissio if you want a video response reading. All right, beautiful Earth signs. What's good for my earth signs? What's coming in during this Mercury and retrograde? That's gonna. That's my intention for this reading. What is this um, Mercury and retrograde in Scorpio going to bring in for my beautiful earth signs? Okay. All right, dear Father God, Mother Earth, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors, please protect me and my viewers by only allowing in messages from the highest of vibrational beings and blocking negative energies from entering this sacred space, so won't it be. All right. Oh, that was quick, earth signs. See from a higher perspective. All right, so this is the card of like, you want to give yourself the same advice you would give a friend, okay? Um, and I want you to see everything that's happening in your life right now from a bird's eye view and really see it from that point of view. Don't, don't you know, see it from just yours, I guess, is the best way of saying it. You're not alone. And I know a lot of earth signs who are heavily guarded, heavily protected, um, and you know, you're definitely can call on those earth, those angels and guides around you to help you. If you are having a hard time, uh, you may need to call on them to help you see things from a higher perspective to see why everything is happening. There is a lot of good. So, you know, um, it's, I want you to see the good along with the bad, but definitely take note of the good so that the bad isn't as bad. You know, um, I, everybody's going through some weird stuff right now. Um, everybody, uh, you know, there's a global pandemic, so there, everybody has been affected, but there are still some good things happening to people too. And I really want my earth signs to count your blessings right now. Um, and I may have some people, um, in the East watching where it is summertime there, uh, follow the voice of your soul. So always listen to your intuition, um, make sure that you are, um, you know, really paying attention to what your heart is telling you. And what your intuition is telling you. And if you want to tap into that, I suggest meditation. Um, this card always gives me Pisces vibes. So you may have, um, you know, strong Pisces in your chart. If you're an earth sign, you may have some water there. Um, ooh, you're also great teachers, my earth signs. Um, you're very, very good at, you know, explaining things in a way that people can understand. So use that talent. And also learn from any of these spiritual experiences that you're going through right now. Um, it does seem, you know, um, I have been, you know, getting Reiki one attuned was one of the smartest things I've done in a long time. And I feel like some of my earth signs may want to consider doing that as well. You have, whoa, I was just going to say, look at this. Strong intuition. Strong, strong, strong. So you can trust your own psychic gifts when it comes down to it. I am not here to replace your intuition. And so I want you to follow your own intuition more than mine. You know, these videos are to help guide you. But if something doesn't resonate, then it's not for you, you know, and I don't want to make you. Did you see that floater? Wow. Wow. That was wild. If something doesn't fit for you, though, make sure that you don't take it. If it does fit, run with it. Um, trust and thrive. You can trust in the unknown. Um, Wow, that floater thing was is bugging me out a little bit. I really want to know what that was. I hope you guys could see it. It it did come across like in the video, um, and I don't think it was light, nor do I think it was dust because it didn't continue. It stopped, and there's nothing on my floor. <laughs> so that was really cool. Um, oh, this light is electrical. Sorry, guys. Let me fix this. All right, here we go. 
That's just to provide a little extra light because there isn't much here. All right, let's see what's coming through for my beautiful Capricorn. So this was for all three fire, um, all three Earth signs. Okay, some of you guys may have fire in your chat as well. Uh, but so for my Cappies, what is this Mercury and retrograde bringing in for my Cappies? Oh, one of the other cards from the other the sun. Beautiful. All right, sorry guys. All right, what's coming in for my Cappies, Capricorn? What's coming in with this Mercury and retrograde for you? Make it clear, spirit. Come on, Kathy. Um, here we go. Ooh, death. Whoa. All right. So this is a Mercury retrograde in Scorpio. And Scorpio season is right around the corner. Uh, death does not mean literal death. It just, it does mean that you're going to be going through huge changes. Um, and I did channel that for air signs as well. Big, big changes. Whoa, temperance. Death Temperance to the Queen of Cups. Look at this temperance. Isn't it beautiful? I love this card. Um, I need to do my nails. Anyway, um, Capricorn, it's really important that you um, keep yourself emotionally stable and stay nice and patient. Breathe through these huge changes that are coming in. And you'll probably start to really see the results of this um, during Scorpio season with this death card here and into Sagittarius season. Although this Mercury in retrograde ends November 3rd, a shadow period does last for an additional two weeks. So that brings us right to, um, very close to anyway, Sagittarius season. So um, just keep an eye on your patience levels, Capricorn. Keep an eye on your uh, healing. Watch any over drinking. I want you to really be careful of any overindulgence and keep yourself nice and emotionally stable. You're strong and you can get through these changes. I think earth signs deal with change probably the least well. <laughs> the devil, there you are. Um, don't get too obsessed with the past though. Don't get too attached to the past. Really watch any kind of um, overindulgence in substances right now. You may be tempted to, and I want you to really watch that, my beautiful Cappies. It's easy to get lost, and it's easy to fall into that trap because it does make you feel better. Uh, or you may be obsessing or spy obsessively spying on somebody. Watch that, Cappy, because we don't want to chase anybody, all right? And if anybody's going to get obsessed with something, it's the Queen of Cups. Um, in a lot of decks, luckily not in this one, but in a lot of decks, she's just like staring at the cup, you know? And so... We want to watch that. Watch your emotional responses to things. Comment everything with patience and temperance of the good and the bad. Sorry, guys. I deeply need Came back. Sorry, guys. I need the water. Um, it is important that you not obsessively get online and start freaking out about stuff, too. So I really want you to watch any obsessive nature watch um you know even spying on anybody it's it's just not helpful Ooh, judgment because you will get your second chance here and you i i want my capricorns to stay open to new things open to changes don't resist the changes don't try to go back to the past um and think you can change things although i think that um Focusing on the good luck. It looks like you're going to have some really good luck coming in that's going to change things. And I'm thinking more money, to be honest with you, in abundance in that fashion. Um, yeah, he has death again. The good luck, the changes are definitely going to probably come in closer to um, Scorpio season. But look, this is death and rebirth. Know that, you know, you're going to be, um, you know, going through a lot of changes, but also... They're going to be good things. You're going to be different at the end of this. And um, I think you have luck on your side. So that helps. That really, really helps. Trust in your guides to, to, to help you through this when the changes do feel overwhelming. Um, Prince of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Princess of Wands and the Nine of Swords. So it's the Page of Wands to the Nine of Swords. Starting over for you seems really really scary if you build up your confidence though know that you can stand tall right now capricorn 
Um, I think leaving anyone behind that's ever been mean to you and, and been cruel is a good idea. Letting them go, finding your North Star, and conquering any kind of demons. I mean, it's, and Capricorn, you've been through so much lately. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, this is you. Know that you're an amazing mom, an amazing woman, an amazing person, amazing man. Um, that you're that you can be very nurturing and and be a man. Um, five of Wands, and you know you may be fighting with with family members or with people who are being awful to you. I want you to put up really strong boundaries. What can what can Capricorn do to get away from this strife? Oh, all right. Ace of Wands, Tower, Seven of Pentacles, which is failure in this deck, Three of Cups, Prince of Cups, the Star. You know what? There's there it's gonna be some huge shakeups for Capricorn. There's no doubt about that. But there will be healing. Ta the tower is followed by the star and some apologies. If there is conflict, um, I want you to do your best to to resolve said conflict. I want you to Try your hardest to get through that. You know, um, I pulled a lot of cards for you, Kathy, but so I had to pull them back into the deck so all the get all the people get fair readings. But I want you to know that you are this Queen of Cups, and if you approach everything, Capricorn needs to be the bigger person here for when when it comes to conflict. Okay, that's that's your biggest thing. All right, who is Capricorn out of the Millennial deck? Who is Capricorn out of this millennial deck? Oh, man. Capricorn, that's rough. There are some fights in the future here. There does look like there may be some conflict. I want you to be the bigger person at all times when you can, okay? And be patient. Whoa. Etsy queen. Powerful, independent, confident, and crafty. With impeccable taste and vintage gold leaf earrings, you could build this empire. Yeah, I love it. You're awesome. You're a go-getter and you're a money maker. And I don't want you to really feel like, you know, um, that you're any less than like you're, you're a queen. Okay, Capricorn. And, you know, I want you to really focus on the spiritual growth, the soul cyclist, you know, through the trance of rhythm, rhythmic pedaling, you make inner progress without actually going anywhere. Are you sweating to cleanse your inner critic or to better define your thigh gap? Yeah, Capricorn, understand why you do everything that you're doing. And fighting just to fight isn't worth it. I would let a, as much as you can be the bigger person and walk away, especially when it isn't worth it and if people are really being out of control. Okay? Oh, Cappy, you'll be all right, though. This does feel like very much like a test. All right, my beautiful Virgos, what's coming in? Oh, excuse me, for my beautiful Virgos. Virgo, what's coming in? Three of coins, more work. Well, that's what you like. If anybody's going to whistle while while old they work, it's, uh, I said that all funny, sorry. Uh, whistle while they work, it's Virgo. Uh, you guys are some of the hardest working people, so just keep it moving. Keep your, you know, I'm getting um, Virgos are keeping your chin down and doing your job. And you're just getting it done. It's, it's pretty good. Ooh, but you need to find work-life balance, okay? That's something that comes up quite a bit. Find balance and also find, you know, have fun in everything you do, even if it is just your, if it is your job. High Priestess, ooh, you could do this kind of work, the kind of work I do, Virgo. Very cool. Um, know that you can trust your intuition. Having Justice and the High Priestess come out together, it's balancing that intuition with your money making. Um, this is very different than the Capricorn reading. Capricorn was full of uh, conflict. There was a lot of conflict. All right, let's see what's going on here. Ooh, Ace of Coins. Yeah, Virgo. Um, Virgo, you ain't being touched by this um, Mercury in retrograde. It, it's going right over your head. You're just working. Keeping your, your head to the grindstone and making money and using your intuition in all you do. I love it, Virgo. This is a really high vibe reading. Um, Ace of Cups, wow, and bringing in love. And if this isn't new love, this could be... Um, this could be self-love and finding a new, you know, but it's all brand new. Uh, Virgo's definitely got new love coming in here. I love it. 
Uh, this could not be more different than the Capricorn reading. Very interesting. Uh, I want you to go with the flow. I want you to be a little mysterious. Um, but I want you to also have fun. Damn, Hierophant. What? Virgo. This could be the person you marry. Damn. What am I even going to name this video? Because there was nothing in common. The other videos, like, you know, each sign had, um, you know, very similar readings. This, the Capricorn and the Virgo reading were totally different. Um, Virgo, it looks like you're going to be meeting somebody who you may marry, which is very, very fun. Um, okay. Ace of Pentacles again to the Seven of Pentacles, which is failure. That sucks. Watch where you invest, though. Be careful. Like I said, be a little mysterious. Dot all your I's, cross all your T's. Um... I wouldn't invest a ton of money right now in something new. So watch that. Um, but even if the money thing doesn't work out, what's the love thing going to do then? Come on, Spirit, make it clear for Virgo. <laughs> Dope. All right. All right. Um, you've got judgment and the King of Cups looking good for love. So even if the money thing doesn't work out, love is gonna and that's amazing i love it so let's see two of cups damn right yep so you may work somewhere and the job may not work out but you may meet someone on the job and that certainly does so virgo good for you you're bringing in love during this mercury and retrograde um and it looks like brand new love um and even if the job is a failure uh, you get a great relationship out of the deal. So that's not so bad. You can always get another job. Ooh, the Insta famous. All right. We haven't gotten this one yet. All right, Virgo. Mm, watch this. So self-involved, known, shallow, and on fleet. Filtering your self-image to perfection will compel others to follow you. Will you limit your story to what gets likes or will you live unedited? Remember, the only comments that matter are your own. Place far from candid. Totem hashtag game. <laughs> Very cool, guys. You're Insta famous. Uh, you may even meet somebody that is really well known and they bring you to the next level or help you bring you to the next level. Very, very cool, Virgo. All right. Taurus, my beautiful Tauruses. What's coming through for my lovely Tauruses? Let me give these a good little shuffle. Very dope. Very dope reading for Virgo. Brand new soulmate love coming in. Um, Capricorn got to stand above the, the controversy and the strife. All right, let's see. Um, I still have no idea what I'm going to call this reading. All right, let's see. Seven of Wands for a Taurus. Try not to be too defensive, Taurus. You are fixed earth. And, you know, you want to watch... Um, getting too caught up in, you know, your way or the highway mentality. It, it's, you know, but being the seven of wands, it means you have something to defend, which means you're doing pretty good. Okay. It means that you have something to lose and you don't want to lose it. Uh, be careful of being too, um, too stuck on something too, though. And, you know, try and, um, Try and incorporate a level of detachment here I'm getting. Ooh, the Empress. You're willing to defend defend, uh, defend yourself, I think, and defend your creative uh, endeavors. Um, I might have to call this like three different things. I'm not even sure. But you're defending your creative endeavors. You're, you're defending uh, possibly the feminines in your life if you're a masculine or your, fem your own fem feminine side. Um, ooh, the lovers. Yeah, and, and it does seem like, you know, you're willing to fight for love and you're willing to fight for, um, you know, your empress status. Uh, you're willing to fight for love. It's pretty beautiful, Taurus. I like it. Let's see. The magician. Now, you know, it's all about you trying to manifest true love, uh, Taurus. That's what it looks like to me. Or at least a happy home and a happy wife and a happy life and all those things. 
um, happy hobby, anything, whatever it is. Um, if you're a mom, you're probably a really good one. You're really focusing on bringing in what's best for you. Um, Ace of coins again. I love it. All right. So you may have met somebody new and you may be willing to work to, or you may be starting a whole new project and you know, it's going to be a lot of work, but that it could really bring in some good profit too. So good for you, Taurus. Keep it moving. Yeah. Wheel of fortune. Definitely, definitely could be bringing in some really good luck. Keep working on it. Keep trying. I mean, um, you know, you are in prime manifestation energy. Just make sure it's all from a really high vibe place and a good place. You know, um, it does look like there is some money coming in. Two of wands. You're just wondering when. Four of swords. You may not get much. Oh, wow. A bunch of cards came. Oh, okay. Very good. All right. Very good. I like these, though. Four of swords and the four of cups came out reverse, which is very rare for me. I'm going to take them. Um, it does seem like you're not missing any opportunities. I like the four of cups reverse. You are taking opportunity. You're getting off your butt. You're not sitting there just looking at your cups, you know, and you're not resting. I mean, you might need more rest, but it does look like you're going towards full emotional fulfillment, Taurus, which is amazing. I love it. Um, 10 of cups for you, which is amazing. Ooh, debauch. Don't forget to have fun. Okay, that's that's the big part. That's something that is a theme throughout every reading. So I might have to call it that. Ten of Pentacles. All right, Taurus. Well, you're going to have more time once you put in a ton of work. You really will have a lot more time to have fun and, and to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, you know, I don't want you burning yourself out though, King of Wands, but it is for you all about taking action. It's, you may feel like you're starting over with this Prince of Pentacles and you know what? That's okay. Uh, you may feel like you still have a lot to learn. Just keep yourself open. Yeah. So the thing that is going to be defeated is a lot of your luxury time because you are going to be very, very busy. So please make sure you are taking some downtime for yourself. Um, you can't, you don't want to burn out. You really don't. All right. Who is Taurus in this reading? Who is Taurus? The Etsy queen again. Very cool. Powerful, independent, confident, and crafty. Yeah. You're getting things done. And this really does seem like a project that's going to make some really great money. So good for you, Taurus. I want you to keep it moving. And you know what, if you're able to help people and, the, and, and employ people, possibly even, this looks like a business of some kind, um, a, a fa possibly a family business that's going to lead to real happiness. So good for you, Taurus. That's light work, especially if you're, uh, you are able to keep defending this project, this thing that you've got going on, because it is going to help people quite a bit. Uh, you haven't missed anything. You haven't missed any opportunities. So even if something did take seem to get taken away from you. So, all right. Those were three very different readings. Earth signs, you guys are in the very different places, but all of it was not forgetting, you know, just don't forget to have fun. I am getting that very strongly. So what are some other messages for my beautiful earth signs? Ooh, bravery. Yeah, don't be scared right now. Um, it's, you know, you can discover new things. It is good for you to, um, you know, try new things. This is causing a lot of anxiety for you though, just by the reaction of my cards. I just, they just went flying into my frankincense. Um, and shit just went flying. That wasn't cool, but it's okay. So, but for all of my beautiful, beautiful earth signs, I want you to tap into your spiritual gifts. You've got a lot. You a lot of you guys are very much psychically attuned and and have strong strong intuitions. Um abandon any fears. Face your fears and and let them go. Um even if it takes some sort of like um you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Exposure therapy to your fears. I think that's important and have that be brave enough to have the conversations. Okay? I think that's that's very, very important right now for my earth signs as well. All right, what crystals 
are going to be important for my beautiful art signs during this Mercury in retrograde? What crystals are going to be important for my art signs during this beautiful, wonderful, crazy Mercury in retrograde period? So delight. Yeah. And it's all about those conversations I was saying with those other cards. So make sure your throat chakra is nice and clear. Okay. So delight's a great one for that. Speaking your truth. Don't hold back right now. Clear the clutter. Yeah. Get rid of anything in the house that isn't helpful that you don't use. Um, donate to charity. That always makes you feel good. Reorganize the, um, the closet. You know, and your drawers, that's something that's a project my daughter and I have planned for this week. It's all about the reads. You'll hear a lot of other people say it too. I like revamping, redoing, re, going back and fixing stuff. And that's what good, that's what Mercury and Metro is good for. Tiger's eye, overcome your fears. Damn, that's what I was saying earlier, facing fears. It's all about facing fears. Okay, here we go. That's what this reading is about uh, for all three of you guys. You can, you cannot, so Capricorn cannot let the fear of other people get to them. Um, it looks like, um, Virgo, you can't let fear of, um, fear of, um, a failure get the better of you. And, and it looks like Taurus, uh, the fear of missing out, you know, so really just, just let it all go. All right. Whew, ignite your passions. Damn right. Damn right. With Garnet. I love Garnet. It's a beautiful, beautiful crystal. I, I have a couple pieces and I use it regularly for all of these crystals here and this one as well. I just, crystals are such an important part of my life and I do invite you guys to um, introduce yourselves to them and use them. Uh, citrine, bring in the light. All right. So stay positive, you guys. You got this. All right. I'm going to pull a quick Lenormand for you and then I got to go. Let's see what's going on for my beautiful earth signs. The lady. Yeah. And I do think honoring your feminine side, whether you be, you are male, female, or non-binary, it doesn't really matter. Honoring the, the receiving, getting into receiving mode would be very helpful and, and know that you guys are anchored, staying grounded, but try not to get pulled under too and stuck. Getting stuck is never helpful. Okay, watch out for any snakes in the grass. All right, my beautiful art signs. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Mama Fire Tarot. This was a crazy reading, uh, but I hope it resonated and I hope it's helpful. Take care. Love you guys.